Welcome back to Strategic Planet. Today we're going to be looking at the marketing mix. In my last video, I talked about marketers as chefs using the marketing mix as the ingredients of success. That phrase was introduced by Professor James Cooderton of Harvard University in 1948. What he was saying essentially was that we as marketeers are all mixes of ingredients. Today I'm going to focus in more detail about the marketing mix and explain exactly what it means. The marketing mix first came to prominence in 1964 when Neil Borden identified 12 controllable marketing elements that, when properly managed, would result in a profitable business operation. They include product planning, pricing, branding, channels of distribution, personal selling, advertising, promotions, packaging, display, servicing, physical handling, fact-finding and analysis. Jerome McCarthy reduced Borden's factors into a simple four-element framework, which we now know as the four P's, product, price, place, and promotion. It did not stop there because... In 1981, Booms and Bittner added a further three P's, people, processes, and physical evidence. They call this the extended mix. Is the marketing mix important for practitioners? Well, the majority of marketing practitioners, myself included, consider the marketing mix as the toolkit of transactional marketing, which is an archetype for operational marketing planning. Essentially, we use it intuitively. As Professor James Cullerton had proposed, mixing up those factors that are likely to lead us to success in the future. Let's go back and look at the extended marketing mix and look at each factor individually. The product, in my mind the most important element of the mix. Marketeers have to use their skills to identify, create and establish a brand which they hope their target customers will love. The price. Marketers have to establish what price the market is willing to pay for a product or service. They may have to adjust these prices depending on geographical location and or time. Promotion, also known as marketing communication. In its broadest sense, it means to move forward. There are many tools associated with promotion there is also a concept known as the promotional mix, which I will cover in a separate video. Essentially, promotion is about hooking in the customer to want the product or service. Place. The place refers to the distribution or channel of access, i.e. the location where the exchange takes place. It is how your customer accesses and or takes receipt of the product or service. People. In every organization, it is the people who ultimately deliver the product and or service, either directly or indirectly to the customer. Their ability, attitudes, skills, and behavior will have a big part in influencing people to love or hate the brand. Physical evidence. In some instances, if there's no physical evidence about the efficacy of the product, then it cannot go to market. This is particularly common in the healthcare or pharmaceutical industry. Process. The process is the set of activities that lead to the delivery of the product and or service. 
the process you select can expand or restrict your market. So how do you apply the marketing mix? It is my belief in the real world marketers will take those elements of the mix which are most important to them and their business and apply it to a solution which is most likely to maximize a return. You must do the same. This ends this video on the marketing mix.